So these cabinets are actually wall cabinets. That's why they don't have the large depth to them. Um, you know, really cabinets uh, can be used in many different scenarios for whatever you want. Um, I've got some closets where I've thrown in cabinets um, in my buildings just to dress them up, uh, give me some sort of medicine cabinet. Um, I've taken cabinets like this um, at the end of a hallway and stacked three of them, put some finishing panels down the side. Someone would use them as a linen closet. So really it's uh, up to you and your imagination how you want to use these things. Um, you, you, you know, you can use a wall cabinet for a base cabinet and you know, in the washroom, um, I had to cut down a standard 24 inch cabinet down to a 19 inch cabinet. So you can really use these to your advantage. So you're not building everything from scratch. Okay. So now that you've removed your dry fit or I've removed my dry fit, I'm going to begin with setting my base in and leveling it. Um, putting my finished side panel on, which I discussed in the other cabinet, how I put it on after. In this case, I'm gonna put it on ahead of time. Uh, put another finished gable on this side. I've got those two um, upper cabinets that I've modified to turn into base cabinets to go right between the two cover panels. And then I've got a MDF um, side piece that I made, like a gable. Um, to be the one side of the fridge. And then I've got another gable on this side. Um, and I'll put some strips across the top and measure up for starting to fabricate our laminate countertop. So let's get started. Got my shims, got my level, just gonna grab my base and my drill. Okay, so this base is built exactly from here to here, the width of those two cabinets. Um, then I've got my cover panels cut from my level line down to the floor to be screwed onto the side of these. Then I can just put my screwed together cabinets between there. So, so before I can set this base, I want to know how far to set it back from this corner. Um, on this corner, I want my laminate to finish right on this edge, which means that from this side cover panel, I'm going to project past one inch from there. So I can roughly set my base on the ground and get this sitting. So that, um, so that it's one inch, um, one inch past here at the, at the top. So, and uh, once I get it close, I'm gonna actually level up just to make sure. Okay, so that is my space. It's exactly one inch and it's on the side of my thing so I know that my base is in its location. I've got a couple of screws pre-started here. So I'm gonna set up on my base. I can see that this side is my high side so that I've got to bring this side up. So I'm going to screw this one in first. I'm going to use my shims. Good on the back.
Okay, good on my front. So, just gonna double check the back one more time. It's good. So I'm gonna drive that screw down, use my utility knife to cut the uh, edge of the shims off here so they're not interfering, and then mount my side panels. base is level. Uh, I'm going to measure from the floor up to this level line um, and then cut these side pieces so that they end up right at the top of this line. So I got 35 and 3 8 on that side, 35 and an eighth on this side. So that means this floor is a quarter inch out, which is approximately what I shim this edge up. So it's no real su surprise. I'll just cut this panel the quarter inch longer than this panel. <clears throat> so you can see I'm nice and lined up with my line. Got some of those Robertson screws. Um, I've already double checked that they're not going to screw through the base and show up on this side. So I'm uh, going to get a screw started, press my hand against this side and screw that panel there. Okay, so I've got my uh, two side pieces um, for the fridge opening cut down to size, um, side gable I guess we can call it. Um, just got to uh, glue this edge, shoot some brad nails into it. Um, for this one I'm going to add some uh, two by twos on the wall and uh, shoot brad nails into those and that should fasten it correctly to that wall. Okay, so I'm going to mount this one against the wall here, <clears throat> then this width that's here, I'm going to match on this side so that I've got a center looking uh, fridge. Okay, so to attach the gable on this side, I'm just going to use some uh, spruce 2x2s, two um, screw them right into one into this stud and one into the inside corner stud and then I'll shoot some brad nails through my gable panel into those. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so the two by twos that I've added to the wall are still a little shy, which you can see here, um, of making it tight to the gable. So um, I measured it, it's five eighths. Uh, that's exactly the width of the casing that I was using on the door. So I've cut some strips of casing. I'm just gonna glue them and nail them to these, and then I should be ready to glue and nail this to that. So. Go I grab my glasses. Okay, so instead of spreading all that glue down with my finger, I'm just going to set the panel in position and uh, just wiggle it around a little bit, kind of flatten the glue out. You can see here, fairly tight against the wall. Uh, when I do my um, uh, paintable silicone or caulking down here, it'll uh, clean it up perfectly. That's in there nice and secure. Uh, for this side, like I had mentioned before, I'm gonna measure this width here. I'm gonna have this one sticking out that dimension and then clamp it to here. Run a screw through the back side so that it's secure. Um, then I'll measure back in here to fit some blocks on the walls just to give the countertop some extra support. And uh, then install these two cabinets. Okay, so now that I've got this front edge of the gable screwed in to the side gable of the cabinets, uh, I'm just gonna measure in the back here and um, screw two ledger boards on so that I can secure this back edge to those. Uh, I'm probably just gonna use uh, uh, two by two material or even three quarter plywood, whatever I've got convenient in the garage. Okay, so I've got, uh, these are just some scraps I found in my garage. Got them cut to follow along my level line here. I'm just gonna lose, use my level and double check that this panel is, is level because I have the chance to manipulate it and move it around right now, but I definitely wanna make sure that uh, it's sitting near level. So that is level. Just gonna put a pencil line on it. So then I know that it's there. Okay, looks good. I've got a stud right here and one right there. So it's gonna rely a little bit on just the um, screwing into the gable as well to give it some strength. So. Um, 
going to put a screw right here because it is actually going to be hidden when I put the cabinets in and that will securely hold this gable. It will also hold the end of this 2x2 uh, two two that I just installed. Okay, and uh, this end gable, I'm just going to shoot a couple of brad nails into my ledger here. So I'm just going to grab my brad nailer. Okay, so everything is uh, looking nice and secure with this uh, fridge opening. I'm now going to screw my two cabinets together, and then bring them in and install those. Okay, so that's all looking pretty nice. I'm going to run a couple screws through the side of my cabinet into my finishing panel to hold it here. I'm going to do the same on this one because it's still just wiggling around. Then I'll countersink down and put some screws into the studding and uh, this will be ready to put its doors on and start measuring up for the countertop. So I don't really need my stud finder to find where the wall studs are. I haven't primed in this area so I can still see the studs. So got my countersink bit like before.
Okay, so these are all nicely attached in. I'm just going to put the doors on so that they don't get damaged somewhere else here on my site. Uh, and then I'm going to measure up to uh, start building the laminate countertop.